let's take a look at Naxport's graphic descriptors. This is a powerful tool which allows you to add positional data to your register. What's more, when it comes to conducting your analysis in the timeline, graphic descriptors link directly to the video player, giving you a highly interactive resource for filtering clips and creating video presentations quickly and easily. In this video, we'll look at how to create graphic descriptors in the template, how to add data in the registering environment, the various tools available in the timeline, including heat maps and the search function, and finally, how to use them to create presentations. So, let's start with creating graphic descriptors in the template. In the home menu of the control window, click on Create Graphic Descriptor and import the field image you want to use. Higher resolution images work better. If needed, you can download high res images of various sports fields from the sample section of our website. You can find the link in the description. When the image has been placed in your template, you can resize it by dragging from the corners. You can also rename the descriptor and change the background color here. This option here allows you to set the real-world dimensions of the field. While this drop-down menu allows you to set the position of the 0, 0 coordinate. This is useful if you plan to measure the approximate distances between markers on the graphic descriptor. Here, you can set the number of markers that will be visible on the graphic descriptor during the registering phase. When this number is reached, the earliest marker will disappear, but will still be visible in the timeline. Here, you can overlay zones on your graphic descriptor, such as the 18-yard box or the left wing. This adds an extra piece of information to your analysis, with no extra clicks. As well as the coordinates of the action you're registering, you will also have an extra descriptor which adds the zone name to your register. You can customize the size, shape and color of the coordinate marker for any category or descriptor button here. You can also choose whether or not to allow the button to be plotted on the graphic descriptor using the Enable button. Because of this, it's a good idea to plan out your template in advance and decide which actions you want to appear on the template or not. Here's what a graphic descriptor looks like on a full template. OK, let's move on to registering actions from a video file with graphic descriptors. Please note that the process is the same for registering without video or real-time analysis. Here, we have a full pre-made template. Again, you can download this from the sample section of our website. Let's create some registers on this video so you can see how graphic descriptors work. We'll begin by registering some automatic categories. For example, we have a shot on goal. We click on shot and then click here on the graphic descriptor to indicate where the shot was taken from. As you can see, this marker appears on the graphic descriptor and if we move to the play-by-play -play table, you can see that the coordinate data and zone have been added to the register. What happens if we do this with a manual category, like possession? First, we click possession. Then we click the origin and destination of each pass. As you can see, all these coordinates are added to the register. This is useful because when it comes to working in the timeline, these coordinates can be linked, showing you the flow of the possession. If you make a mistake while adding a marker to the graphic descriptor, you can delete it by right clicking. Try to be as accurate as possible with positioning at this stage for better results in the analysis stage. OK, let's move on to the timeline. Here, we have the completed match analysis with all registers in place. So, let's open our graphic descriptor by clicking on this icon. As you can see, for the moment, the graphic descriptor is blank. Click on any category on the timeline to open the coordinate data. For example, let's click on the shots of our own team. 
Holding control and clicking on multiple categories will allow you to see all coordinate data for those categories together. You can also click on any individual clip in the timeline or the table on the left to see its position. As you can see, all our registers now appear on the graphic descriptor. Hover over any marker to see the data associated with that register. Now, clicking on any of these markers will play the associated clip in the video player. This level of interactivity is invaluable to analysts, allowing them to see their data quickly and easily. Basically, the graphic descriptor gives a visual overview of the analysis, whilst the link video gives the context to the register. Want to know what happened on the left side of the goal? You can find that info and share it with your fellow coaches extremely quickly with the graphic descriptor. If you've made a mistake with your positioning, you can move any marker by holding control, clicking and dragging. Click on this icon to show or hide the zone descriptors on the graphic descriptor. This icon allows you to link coordinates from the same register. This is ideal for showing the positioning of a series of passes that you want to highlight, for example. The search function is an extremely powerful tool for filtering your clips based on a specific area of the field. If, for example, you wish to see everything that happens inside the 18-yard box, you simply click and drag to cover the area you want to analyse. Click this icon to create a heat map, which clearly shows where the majority of action happened on the field. Similarly, this icon allows you to create a surface area map, useful for showing which parts of the field are over or underutilised. The options menu allows you to change the size of the coordinate markers or change the dimensions of the image itself. Lastly, we have the option to export the graphic descriptor as a JPEG image. Why is this useful? Well, these images can be used in PowerPoint presentations or to create composite images. These can then be shared with coaches and players or even re-imported for use in a video presentation. The coordinate data you collect with Naxport can also be exported to an Excel file alongside the rest of your analysis data. And, before clicking Export, ensure there's a tick in the Export XY box. This will create a new column in the Excel file containing all your coordinate data. This is useful if you want to utilise third-party data visualisation tools such as Power BI or Tableau. In addition to this, Naxport's graphic descriptors can also be opened in the dashboard. We'll go into further detail on this in the video dedicated to dashboards which you can find in a link in the description. You can create amazing video presentations extremely quickly and easily. Let's look at how to do this from the graphic descriptor. First, click on the marker that you want to review. Now, if this is something that you wish to highlight in your presentation, simply click the 3 or Insert key on your keyboard, and the clip will automatically be sent to your presentation. And it's that simple. For more information on how to create powerful presentations with Naxport, check out the dedicated tutorial. You can find a link in the description. And that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And to keep up to date with all the latest Naxport news, why not subscribe to the channel? Thanks, and see you next time.